The leaders in every activity in society, they face President Bush, they face the governor of Indiana, they face me in business, they face the dean of a divinity school, and they face the president of a college or the chairman of a bank. Um, because the human beings are the same in all of them. And it's a, a, a matter of uh, new forces are rushing through the world, changing things faster than human beings have ever been accustomed to respond. And uh, the safest and most prudent course uh, is on the side of change. The real danger you got to tell yourself always is, the real danger is not to change. That's not prudence. You're almost sure to go down the drain if you don't change. You got at least a 50-50 chance of surviving if you are willing to embrace radical change and pursue it. Organization is reorganization, and that's all there is to say about organization. And I, and I believe that. Everything you're doing you, you ought to be suspect. Everything? Everything. Erwin Miller's desire to continually improve is born of a simple desire to achieve the very best possible in all endeavors. Whatever you do in this world, you've got a responsibility and the privilege of doing it the very best way you can. And whether it's architecture, or uh, cooking, or uh, drama, or music, the best is none too good for any of us. It's a philosophy of searching and seeking that has made an impact. But as much as Erwin Miller has looked for, fostered, and embraced change, there are certain unchanging values that he has held throughout his career. It begins with an unending search for knowledge, from playing his fiddle, actually a Stradivarius, to reading the New Testament in Greek, and extends to his belief in the power of the human spirit, the inherent dignity of individuals and their potential to contribute, achieve, and excel. Yet perhaps the greatest measure of the value he holds can be found in the impact he has had on others. He has served as an advisor to presidents, helped mold Cummins executives, counseled church leaders, reshaped a community, and his philanthropy has made a difference in scores of communities around the world. If I really could look back a hundred years from now and saw all the consequences, what will I wish I had stood for, and what will I wish I had supported, and what will I wish I had done? It is difficult to imagine a life that has more definitively provided answers to these questions than Erwin Miller's. Answers that continue to shape the world of Cummins, Columbus, and beyond, day in and day out.